Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? In this video, we're gonna talk about the single result. Okay. Um, so far, all the queries I, I introduced is yes, just to return okay, uh, get a result list, not a single result. And to using single result from this method name, you already know, just to return one uh, single object instead of a collection. Okay. And uh, make sure in the re in the database you only has exactly one result. Otherwise you're gonna have exception being thrown. Okay, let me show you how to use it and probably show you some examples which has errors. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue using this demo and uh, the source code you can download from uh, you can download from where <laughs> you can download from the github the link is inside the description and suppose now when I using like name and uh, n and uh, in our case we have uh, brown is also n the long also has n which will return two objects right but if we want to practice single result let me show you okay <laughs> let me show you a uh, single result query dot get single result and if we run it's gonna return person for us in this case and uh, it's gonna throw exception because we know it's gonna return two objects. Okay, here gonna return two objects. Wrong. E? Oh, oh, I didn't run single result. Okay, I run the query parameter, which is the last one. Okay, run this one. <sighs> Excuse me. Hey, where's my cursor? Where's my cursor? Oh, here. Okay. Control Shift 10. Control Shift 10. It's gonna run. Good, 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 good. See here, you're gonna have a non-unique result exception, and this this case is uh, the query will give us uh, two objects. And uh, let me show you another one. Okay. In this case, when I have first name like A B C, but I don't have any name contains A B C, which means no result being returned, right? We, when we're using single result, make sure exactly one. And in this case, we will still get an exception, but this time it's not a non-unique result exception. It's another one, uh, not empty, something like that. I couldn't remember now. Okay, let's take a look at it. Mm. Okay, here. See here, when we're using single result, no result exception. Because when we're using get a single result, you must guarantee in the database you have one result, exactly one. Otherwise, it's gonna throw exception for you. And let's give uh, one example which has a result, okay. And uh, equals one. And we have a, a person with ID equals one, so it's gonna work. Now, this time without exception being through. Good, and this time you will have this person being returned. And as we know, the single result is not that uh, good because you have to make sure it only it has exactly one. Okay, and uh, using ID can guarantee you, uh, if it exists, it only has one. But if I put something that doesn't exist, 
it still will throw exception. That's another option is you can do like this way. I when we do pagination, we can set the maximum result, right? Query dot get result list. And then uh oh sorry, 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 not this one, not this one, not this one. Uh, first query dot set maximum result you give one and by using that you also limit the re limit the result the collection okay to be only has one element right person p equals query dot get result list and you can using system out p I don't know, p p dot get zero and uh, this also can gonna return one value for you. And in this case, we can run. It still works. Using this one, it means page size only give me one. Okay, see here, only give me, let me test if we have something that doesn't exist, what's gonna happen, okay. This one, I don't think. Uh, this one is the error here. Didn't uh, didn't give us the error. The error is because of this line. Because this now the the uh, person is uh, what thing? The person this uh, list collection is zero. So we cannot uh, use an index. So it's safe to using get a result with this one compared with the single request, single result. Got it, idea? Because when I using PID equals one, two, three, now if we using get a single result, okay, and now I come and comment to the others, you're gonna see the exception. <coughs> which is a no result exception. Take a look, you got, got no result exception, but if I if we using the get result list and leave, okay, and also get a result list and system p dot size, okay. We set the maximum result to be one and also get a list. And if it has, then you get a zero. If it doesn't has, then just return now. But for this case, it won't throw exception for you because when you're using get a single result, you must make sure in the database exactly has a one object. With the get a result, if you have, fine. If you don't have, it's also fine. But anyway, no wrong time exception being through. Okay, let me show you. So if you are right a query and not sure, uh, it's gonna has a one object, exactly one object in the database, then using get result list to avoid the runtime exception. Take a look at, see here, zero, no exception, okay. Uh, previously we have exception because of the get zero, because we don't have uh, any element. When we're using get zero, it is through exception, not because of the get result list. So that's it for the get a single result. And uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.